Hello friends, I'm Tammy K. Welcome to my channel. And today, get a load of all this. Yesterday I went to my PO box and picked up seven packages from little gifts that different people have sent me and I haven't opened them yet because I want my reactions to be legit. It feels like Christmas, it's not Christmas. I'm excited though. I don't know why I'm doing this, but let's get into it. We're gonna unbox today and then we're gonna paint. Okay, so I've got my trusty scissors over here. And we're going to start with this one. I think it's a sketchbook. I'm not sure what that one is. Maybe another sketchbook. I'm only expecting one. Oh, it's not. It's watercolor paper. How lovely. Maybe this is also watercolor paper. Oh, and this is the sketchbook. How lovely. All right, so this is the string and space sketchbook. I'm going to love painting. I can even paint in this too. Lovely sketchbook. I, I I, think this is paper as well. Oh, I forgot this is coming in the mail. How exciting. So this is a Marvelous Metallic Watercolor, Beginning Painting Projects to Create Shimmering Art by Sarah Style. Even some hand lettering practice exercises as well. Let's see what this one is. It's always fun getting packages and like everything lines up and all the things are coming at once. Okay, I knew this was coming. So this is a porcelain paint palette by Meaden. I'm so excited to see this. And we'll, we'll get into it later. Then I've got several things from Meaden. I'm thinking this is part of it. Nine by 12 paper, Meaden has a new size. And this is their porcelain paint wash cups. I'm excited about this. Let's make some room. Oh my. Sitting back helps. This is a storage box for art supplies. And the big guy. Whatever it could have been. I actually know. So big. I'll have to clean that up later. And a tabletop drawing board easel. Let's get into these things a little bit more. Whoa, what a mess. So friends, before we start with using these supplies, I definitely had to fill up my new watercolor palette. This is always a fun time for me. And I've got all my meat and products here now. These brushes are fantastic. They are kind of a student grade situation, but they're pointed and lovely. And I just wanted to demo here the nine by 12 meat and paper. I really like this size because I use this for most of the paintings I do for my Etsy shop. And this paper is just fantastic. It is really textured and it's really kind of got that dry surface, lots of bumps to absorb that paint and it's really good. This is a cold press by the way. Just wanted to give you guys a chance to see all the papers in the different sizes. And so here I demonstrate the 15 by 10 size. It's a large paper. I did tape up the size and I just wanted to paint some birch trees with this credit card. All these tutorials are things I either did for Patreon or for YouTube. This one's on YouTube if you want to check it out. But these supplies are wonderful. They are student supplies and I use them all the time because they are wonderful, excellent quality. So if you're thinking about gifts for anybody, just keep it in the back of your head. This beautiful storage drawer situation is fantastic. So I have all these tubes of paint and I typically have them as I do here, just in drawers and in random spaces and I don't really know where to put them, what to do with them. So here you can see me organizing them, throwing them in drawers. Later on, I actually organized things further by colors of the rainbow so that I know the brands are all in the same drawers as well as organized by colors and it just makes it a lovely space to put these paint tubes. You can grab them when you need them and it's also an attractive, <laughs> funny little me here, also an attractive box as well. So something that is great for a gift for an artist or maybe even just for yourself. I love it. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is my most exciting piece that I received. This easel which you can make it upright, you can put it at a 45-ish degree angle, which I'm pretending that's what that is because I don't really know the angle, but I don't usually paint upright. 
with watercolor, but here I am doing that. This experience was quite enjoyable and I'm thinking of taking this tabletop easel with me when I go outside to paint sometime. Yes, it's a bit bulky if you're going on a hike, but it's light and easy and it folds back down nice and flat. It's a wonderful addition, especially if you do oils or acrylics, something to consider for a gift for you. So this little book here with the metallic paints, I really enjoy. I love that there's hand lettering practice. And here I decided to actually get out my metallic paints, the only ones I have, and just do some leaf play, roughly sketching through or painting through uh, the different leaf shapes that she had listed in this book. And then of course now don't laugh, my handwriting, my hand lettering is not the best, but I gave it a shot. Let's sparkle, let's always sparkle, guys. The last piece was this sketchbook here, and I really enjoyed it because I used my charcoal pencils first to sketch in my iris shape, and this is an iris that I have drawn before. You can see on my sketchbook on the left here. I like these pages, they're bright white and crisp, and of course, after I did this, I had to watercolor paint over the top because that's what I do. All right, friends, I know that was a lot of things, but I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, the revealing, the description, and then also that we got to utilize the items. We got to paint with all of them because we have to paint even with the sketchbook because that's what I do. Let's draw, let's sketch, and then let's paint over. If you're interested in these products, they're all linked below and you can check them out. Thank you for being here for another video and I will see you guys soon on the next tutorial. Bye.